Hello ladies, Sherry here from the Fox Giving Crew. How's it going? So this is going to be a divine feminine reading for October the 14th until the 28th. All right, so I'm using my deck and I'm going to be doing a crystal ball. So that's a five by five grid with four cornerstone cards, uh, which represent the main energy of the reading, then one center card, which represents the main message from the universe. Um, so let's begin. And so it's a distant past, recent past, present, near future, and final outcome. So first cornerstone card, distant past, six of swords. Um, so this is making a decision to move to a calmer state of mind. Let me just move the camera forward just a little bit. Okay, so um, this could actually mean walking away from somebody, but really it's about vibration, energy, thoughts, finding some stillness and peace, right? So the feminine got the uh, four of swords in the past position, so the feminine is continuing to be in a still state in the future as well. She got the four of swords as a final outcome. Um, so it is a continuous battle within herself to to not be drawn in by negative energy. Hermit. So masculine got this card um, in a past position so um, you know this is going on a pilgrimage self-discovery. I always think of the movie Into the Wild Cutting up your credit cards, burning your money, living off the land, free, unencumbered, no restrictions, right? So this is all uh, about self-illumination, finding your light within. So it's a turning within. And so whether or not, you know, you see it, there's a feminine here and the masculine walking away, you know, and this is a masculine energy in this card. However, it was a feminine hermit in the masculine's reading so I don't really know you know who is who here at this point maybe you both went into a hermit state um, okay next four of pentacles so this is somebody being closed off not listening not allowing anybody in okay so this is you know related to the 3d reality as well okay so Holding on too tightly to something in the 3D, you know, or not letting somebody in for fear of losing. Queen of Swords, so this is, could um, represent air energy, but um, this is a feminine being cold, cut off from her emotions, being cutting with her words. So it could represent a karmic energy that the masculine, you know, might be closed off to, but this is a feminine reflection a feminine crystal ball okay so I feel this is the feminine energy being cold speaking her mind not um, you know she's the ice queen right she she also stands for truth and justice she has mental clarity so maybe because of this Closing off, she also closed off. Cornerstone card, Knight of Cups. So this is movement forward towards love, offering love. So the feminine may have moved forward and, you know, offered her heart to the masculine. Had a mental clarity about it, but ultimately the masculine was shut off, closed off. Um... I almost feel like, you know, this offering that the feminine made, you know, it came from a lot of thought. She thought a lot about it, right? Or or she knew she was going to be rejected, but she offered her heart anyway. She continued to offer love. It's almost like she expected the masculine to return her favor with more rejection, more closing off. If that makes sense okay so near future four of wands so the four of wands in the rider white deck represents marriage coming together in the 3d reality you know the twins completely united 
in harmony and you know it's a very blissful peaceful state feeling of arrival but yet you have your whole future set out before you so there was a feeling you know of connectedness of happiness of sharing one's life in in you know your dreams coming true with your twin so you know it is in the recent past position this is also a confirmation card of a twin flame sacral chakra so this is emotional instability so you know this feeling could have created an emotional response you know it's like but I usually see this as a lower vibration. You know, this, some twins may have connected, right? Um, and felt an emotional bliss. Their, their chakras opened up and they were able to express themselves freely and openly. Um, but usually, like I said, I, I usually see that as a lower vibration. So it may have triggered you know, the sense of unity may have triggered a fear to run, possibly. Let's see. Heart chakra. Okay, so this card is unconditional love, right? It's it's the motor that drives consciousness. It is the reason we are alive. Love. All right, so the feminine, you felt unconditional love. Um, well, let's carry on. Six of Pentacles. So this is an even exchange of energy flowing between you and another. It's also the cohabitation card, so sharing your life with somebody in the 3D. But, so this almost, you know, it indicates a 3D union. You know, it's, especially with this Four of Wands, this is spiritual union in the 3D, whereas this is an open exchange of energy within the 3D. Sharing your finances, sharing your, your 3D reality with them. Um... So for some, it looks to me like you were united. You know, there was emotional fear, but you overcame that fear and opened yourself to love and may have even reunited, like I said. Next, wow, Six of Cups reunion. So some of you were lucky enough to reunite. Somebody coming back from the past, somebody from childhood, this represents pure, innocent love. Beautiful. Congratulations to some of you. You took that chance. You moved forward. You offered your heart. Even though you knew he was closed in the past, you still moved forward and gave your heart. Present position, Ten of Wands. So this is being caught in the machine. This is giving too much of yourself, carrying all the burden. So in the present moment, the feminine are feeling exhausted, and, you know, this is a completion. Number 10 is an ending to this feeling. So when this reduces back down to one, that means a new beginning. Seven of wands, more wand, fire, passion. Uh, but this card talks about knowing your core values and beliefs and expressing them, having the confidence to stand up for what you believe in, not giving up, not surrendering, not backing down. So the feminine is conflicted. Whatever it is that's causing her the burden, um, it's like, it's because of non-action, right? She is tossing and turning because she's unable to express herself. She's unable to um, release her, her strength. So this next card is Zero Point Energy, the main message from the universe, temperance, wow. So this is being in the now, being in this moment. There is no other moment. There's nothing out there that needs to be, there's, you know, um, there's no goals that need to be reached. There's no desires, no, no nothing out there that you can attain that will make you feel whole and complete inside. And knowing that puts you in this absolute state of zero, the now right just enjoying this moment so this is also representing uh, having balance in all areas of your life emotionally spiritually mentally and physically so the message 
from the universe feminines is to find your balance, find your stillness, find this ultimate peace. Um, and this is also the ultimate union card for twin flame. So for some, um, there may be too much worrying involved here, right? Too much burden. And so the idea is just to not worry and leave it to destiny, leave it to fate, to, I don't know. Let's continue on. Anyway, King of Swords. So this could represent air energy, um, a masculine who is, you know, we got the king and queen of swords here. So the masculine would be highly authoritative, who um, makes decisions, makes plans, and executes those plans. He takes action. So this is mental clarity, uh, the ultimate communicator as well. So when you see the King and Queen of Swords, there's a sense that there's communication that is occurring on the same level that is honest, open, truthful. And, you know, being truthful and having that mental clarity, but yet wearing your heart on your sleeve ultimately set into motion a sense of union here and you know and continue to manifest um, through the, the masculine returning in that kind of mental clear clear state right um, and I'm gonna assume that he's wearing his heart on his sleeve with the next card I don't know for certain but it feels to me like that's where this is going it's like um, a reflection mirroring throat chakra wow okay so in the present moment it seems to me like the masculine really wants to communicate and it has to do with this reunion like the desire to come together if you haven't done so yet you know it seems to me like the feminine is worried about this you know um, and so there's going to be clarity there's going to be communication Near future, Ace of Cups, wow. So he's bringing love with him, wearing his heart on his sleeve, just like I said. So this is a new beginning of love. This card only shows up when you've let go of the past, you've forgiven yourself, forgiven others, and you truly open to receive love into your life. So, you know, there may have been a pause. Um, and here we have the love blooming once again. Ten of Swords. Wow, okay. So the Ten of Swords showed up in the feminine's pre present position in what she was bringing into the union as a clarifier card. So this is putting an end to the dark night of the soul, feeling betrayed, stabbed in the back, left for dead. So there, we've got two endings here, two tens, and then the Ace of Cups is like, she's cutting things out of her life. She's putting an end to this burden, to this fear, and, but ultimately staying open, you know, having that unconditional love in your life, um, not allowing darkness to sour it. Eight of Pentacles. So the feminine got this as a final outcome as well. So this is a future energy, working hard, positive movement for, forward, gaining abundance, being in, you know, being self-reliant, but not wanting to share or something. I don't know what it is. It's a very strange feeling, you know. it's um, She's building towards something. Page of Pentacles, yes, again, this is, could represent communication in 3D, but this is, you know, taking that Ace of Pentacles and putting it to work, building upon it, planning. Um, and it's planning for a long-term goal of the Ten of Pentacles. So in the near future, I feel she's going, the feminine you are going to be focused more on the 3D reality, on your own self-growth and independence and freedom, and put an end to doubt, to fears, and just continue to be open, right? It's like you're in a state of now, or need to be in a state of now, um, Yeah, let me just continue on. 
Um, okay, crown chakra. So this is the highest chakra activation. So this is I know. So this is your direct connection to source, to spirit, to your to your higher self as well as a collective consciousness. So it's an illumination. Um, so I feel the feminine is moving towards a more spiritual. Um, she's putting her spiritual talents and tools and knowledge to work for her and building an empire for herself is what I feel with this. It's like, um, you know, even though there's this new beginning of love over here, I feel like she's cutting that away, that idea of a new start, staying open to this connection, but ultimately turning her attention to growing her financial stability based you know, and it has to do with uh, spirituality or consciousness. Um, yeah. Okay. Are building a new life in the 3D that's more spiritually aligned? Um, okay. So final row. This is the final outcome. Cornerstone card. Nice. The Queen of Pentacles. So the masculine got the Queen of Pentacles as a final outcome as well in the future position. So... I was pointing to that financial freedom, you know, the page is somebody who plans, continues to work, continues to build. Um, the, the knight is somebody who takes those plans and takes action, right? Moves forward. Um, whereas the queen is somebody who sees that harvest, sees that, that all that work paying off, and now she's free. She's grounded. She is, she spreads her seeds for all. She shares. And so there is a definite projected energy of success in the 3D reality that comes from this work that feminine has been doing. Um, and, you know, it's, it's built on love, right? That open space of love. Okay, next is Five of Cups. Okay, so the masculine also got this card as um, a final come present position so heartbreak loss pain and it's below the ten of swords below the hermit below this emotional chakra card and seven of wands confidence power so um there's a disconnect causing a dark period and loss of confidence ultimately leading to this pain and heartbreak okay so um this could be the masculine self-fulfilling prophecy by disconnecting by creating walls um ultimately you end up hurting yourself um or because i don't really feel any attachment with the feminine what i feel is exhaustion and burden and actually kind of turning her back on the masculine right She's that angel, beautiful angel, and, you know, she's, she's not focused on him, although it's, there's a sense that the masculine wants to communicate with her. Um, she's trying to detach, she's trying to put down the burden, put an end to worry, fear, and she's turning into herself. So this, you know, could just mean wounds need to be healed from the past. I'm not too sure. Let's carry on to what the rest of the cards say. Next, Page of Wands. So this is a new beginning. Uh, it could represent great communication, great idea, great news, uh, epiphany. So the feminine is stepping into a creative space, more optimistic, more excited. And I love it because, you know, it's, opposite of that sad space right so it's like she moves from this heartbreak all of a sudden to excitement renewal is what i see here and it's because of her independence she although she's been hurt in the past she's still open she still carries those wounds with her but she's using those wounds to better herself in the world so there's you know the pages represent messengers but it also represents lessons there are still lessons to learn 
there is a future that is being built, a new reality. Um, and so I see the feminine doing a lot of work during this period of time, really building her power, her confidence, becoming the divine feminine. The um, judgment card, so the grand awakening. So this card was coming in the feminine's future position, but it was in the past, so it could have been the future of the future or the future of the past. So what I'm feeling here, especially with this page of wands, is an epiphany, a realization, okay? And so she is replaying her old life, but she's, re she's creating a new one, right? There's this newness that seems to be detached from the ma masculine. So she sees this future. She sees um, something has her excited anyway. Okay, so it's more spiritual, um, illuminated future. Uh, yeah. Final cornerstone card, death. So the feminine got this also as a final outcome that was connected to the Three of Swords. So transformation, metamorphosis, she completely becomes reborn. All of this is, you know childlike birthing um this is rebirth and this is harvest manifestation but I, I feel she comes out of this heartbreak period and finally cuts away those things that are no longer serving her right um that which is that heartbreak that pain she sees how she's been stuck in a cycle and it comes as a result of finding her independence and from that she gains confidence, right? And she's no longer controlled by her emotional loss, attachments. She sees a brighter future for herself. She realizes how powerful she is and ultimately puts a death to ego. So for the feminine, for the next two weeks, it's going to be a transformative phase for you. But, you know, I feel that you're putting this idea of a twin flame connection to rest. You're putting it behind you. All this row is all twin flame. You know, it's memories of love, desiring to come together in the 3D, believing in unconditional love and wanting to feel that emotional bliss with, with your twin flame in the 3D. And for some, it's not happening. For some, it did. Right? And right now, in this moment, it's causing burden. The message from the universe is for you to be in the now, be in this space. Um, and then, boom, communication from the ma masculine. I don't know where that's coming from, but, it, you know, it seems to be a mirroring happening from the queen in the past. But the feminine, it's like she doesn't take that offer. She doesn't she cuts it away. She doesn't respond or she doesn't um, take the bait if it's somebody who keeps baiting her, leading her on. Do you know what I mean? She turns her focus to herself, to growing her, her independence, freedom, and self-love. And it continues to escalate, or not escalate, but grow, right? There's more epiphanies, there's more realizations. Um, yeah, so I'm going to pull one card from Myths and Mermaids, and this will be the message from the universe. Maybe, you know, the feminine's in this space waiting for the masculine to communicate with her, and it's causing her burden, and ultimately she says, fuck it, and puts an end to that and turns her focus and attention elsewhere and ultimately it leads to a realization that she's been causing her own pain by desiring something outside of herself I, I don't know okay stranded interesting So the feminine, uh, for the twin flame reading, um, and the masculine, you, they got at the heart center, 
they got um, Treasure Island. Okay, so there's kind of like this islandy feel that was reflected in that reading as well. Um, the masculine got One Ring Circus as well as the Nine of Pentacles, and both show a feminine and masculine on separate islands. So I did feel a, a growth period for both aspects in the Twin Flame reading, and so I feel the same kind of retreat um, for the feminine for sure. I haven't done the masculine reading yet. All right, so for the solitary seafarer, the time has come to weep, longing, empty, yearning for her dreams dreamt dark and deep. Forlornly lamenting, she aches to close the gap she keeps. Remember a loved one as she's drifting off to sleep, slipping into nothing, an oaken gnarled embrace, listlessly awaiting the sun's lustrous face. Alone on an island, swiftly shrinking space, she is stranded alone, afraid and in disgrace. So alone and stuck in a gnarled tree on a deserted island, a melancholy mermaid stares into the distance, oblivious to the sunset rising behind her. She is pale and lost in a reverie. She is isolated and lonely, but why? The meaning, stop isolating yourself. You may feel deserted, but it is a self-imposed isolation. What you see is, as rejection is all in your mind. Others are not avoiding you. You are avoiding them, preemptively by preventing um, them from rejecting you. It is not healthy to avoid relationships and interactions for fear of losing a loved one or becoming embarrassed. It is time to step off the island you have created for yourself and join the rest of society. Make contact with friends you have been avoiding. Go back to classes and meetings you've bowed out of and wisely invest in new modes of communication so you can talk once again to the world. The world is waiting for you. It is up to you to take that first step. Okay, immediately I saw this island as the masculine. For too long your attention has been focused on this dream, this idea you know, and as a result, you create, you isolated yourself from the rest of the world. And so what I see here is you ultimately freeing yourself from that, being the butterfly, flying, finding your wings, um, and not focusing on the masculine, that island, the masculine island, freeing yourself of it. And, um, you know, and I see a lot of feminines going out and reconnecting with people again you know it's like it's a rebirth it's a complete change in reality right it's all about independence and freedom growth and uh, maturity so yeah it's beautiful i love how this is a is an absolutely perfect card for sure all right cheers guys um Thank you again for your likes, your shares, your comments, and uh, yeah, if you haven't subscribed, show your love. Peace.